How's it going everyone? Zabby here. We're back with another episode of the Fishing Planet Guide. Today we will be going to California and we're going to be doing some sturgeon fishing. Now, before we even get started, I got to tell you guys, this is a very, very late game setup. You guys are going to need to be at least 41 to do this setup, level 41 to do this setup. This is really how I grinded from the 40s to the 50s. And as you guys do get closer to 50 you're going to want to upgrade your setup so you can farm this faster and faster so i have three different setups i want to show you guys here today first off this is the setup from the last video that we used for the sturgeon in uh, michigan now this setup will work to catch these fish however i did upgrade the leader and it's going to take forever to reel them in okay so right out of the gate i wouldn't even recommend using this setup from the last video at all okay if you guys want to try it you can try it but i do not recommend it so what we're going to do is i'm going to show you guys this setup right here so you go into the shop go to bottom rods and you are going to buy the cat boxer 240 it unlocks at level 41 okay guys it unlocks at level 41 it's the first cat boxer you can get that's not with bait coins and it's going to have a line weight of 19 kilograms and that's what you're going to at least need this rod if you want to do this at, like efficiently at all so go in there grab the cat boxer the one that unlocks at level 41 you're gonna go to reels spin reels you're gonna go to max drag of 15 to 20 and you're gonna go ahead and grab the thunder spin 550 this unlocks at level 40 it's a very good reel you're gonna go ahead and grab that next you're gonna go to line you're gonna go to braid you're gonna go to 15 kilogram plus the highest uh one there on the test and you're going to grab some of this braid, this 17.1 kilogram braid that unlocks at level 40. That will be good enough for you for now. You're going to go to leaders. You're going to go to 15 kilogram plus test, which will be 30-ish plus test as for your uh, you Imperial guys. You're going to go to this level 40 mono leader here, which is 17 kilograms. Now, this is still going to be an underweight setup, guys. So, again, this is not going to like be fast reeling in these sturgeon it's not going to be fast with this setup but this is good enough to get you started and then you can upgrade your setup as you guys go along for hooks i'd recommend buying 40 barbless hooks here guys for bait coins now i know if you guys haven't used them yet they do give you double xp it's going to make you level up faster which honestly is the goal here is to make tons of money level up really really fast and you're going to do both of those things here uh, other than that, you might need some simple bells, some more common bells if you don't have any. You're going to need some sinkers, which I'll show you guys. But basically, this is the setup here, guys. I will go ahead and hide my webcam here. So I got the cat boxer. I got the thunder spin. I got the braid line I showed you. I have 175 gram sinker on there. I got the mono leader I showed you guys. I got the 4-0 barbless hook. And then I also have spawn sack, which you unlock at level 39. You're going to want to throw that on there. And that's basically going to be your setup for the whole time going throughout this. Now, like I said, as you level up, you're going to want to upgrade your setup. So you can see here, um, this is my end game setup. This is the this is the highest level bottom rod you can get in the game. I have 30 kilogram braid on it, like the same hook. I got heavier titanium leaders. This is my end game setup right here. So if you guys want to take a look at this and you want to come back to this and maybe take a look at it as you level up and get to 15 stuff this is my end game setup i have a bunch of these rods same ex everything everything's the same with these okay that's my end game setup however you can also go and say you want to buy say you get to 44 and you want to speed it up a bit or you get to 46 you want to speed it up a bit grab this level 44 cat box or grab this level 46 heavy chaser these are both going to be great upgrades and all you got to do is match the line weight with a reel you could go to 20 plus and i think what i used was the ambusher this one here 21 kilogram one and you just gotta match it with the with the reel and and line and a leader and you're pretty much good to go guys so that's all you're gonna do if you want to start off use this cat boxer and work your way up to the other ones as you go and eventually you're gonna get a very beastly setup like these heavy chaser 310s these ones are absolutely insane and it's quick like, just unbelievably quick to farm these guys, all right? Other than that, buy the biggest keep net you can possibly grab. Whatever one it is. If you have a DLC one, even better. Uh, you should be able to grab this 200 kilogram one, which is like 400 pounds. You're going to want to grab that. Grab uh, whatever rod holder you can get that, uh, that you can afford. Probably, uh, 
you might want this one just because it's got bite alarm uh, if you have enough bait coins you can go for the trio here it, it's really up to you guys what you want to do here but remember the more the more um rods you got the better for this right so buy one or two of each setup depending on how, on your rod setup guys okay so if you can if you can have three rods buy three of them if you can have two buy two you can buy four use four like whatever your setup is guys you got to buy that many rods because you're going to want to do this as quick as possible make sure you buy the license we're going to go ahead and travel here and go to california and i will show you guys where to go once you spawn in all right guys so what i do is i go into a private room and now we will get there i'm i only night fish for sturgeon in this game and i'll give you a few reasons why okay so if you go to this area right here fishing the beaver it's called go there and the reason why you only fish at night while doing this is because there's no cooldown at nighttime. So that means even if you're not a premium account, you can just keep simming forward every single day. And that's what you're going to want to do here. So I will show you guys exactly where to fish. You're just going to spawn in here. You're going to turn around and this is where you're going to be fishing. Okay. Go ahead, drop your rod stand down. And I'm going to go ahead to uh, 2100 hours because that is nighttime. That's nine o'clock. And basically, I'll show you guys what it looks like with this rod, because this is the rod you guys are probably gonna be using at first. I'm gonna go ahead, cast out to the corner there. Oh, one more thing before I forget. Make sure when you guys set your leader length, make sure you shorten it, because sturgeon are at the bottom, right? So you're gonna go into cut and you're gonna drag this over and you're gonna shorten it to about 20, 15, 10, whatever works. All of them will be fine. And you guys should be good to go. We're gonna go ahead throw this bad boy in and we're just gonna let it sit there once it lands you can clip it if you want to make it easier which will speed up your farming i'm gonna go to my heavier rods just so you guys can see how this works and how quick you can how quick you can farm this because it gets it honestly is a little crazy uh how much like i farmed here for basically from 40 to 50 i farmed here and it was just absolutely insane how how fast you level up and how much money you guys get here if you think that any of the other spots have been overpowered wait until you guys see this spot we'll go to oh sorry my rods are just a little bit screwed up here that's okay though let's go to there gonna drop those in drop them down there and now basically all you do is sit here and wait and now one thing i want to explain while we're waiting for a fish to come on here is you do not want to just sit here and fish so we do have one on or about to have one on oh bait was pulled too far away that's surprising doesn't usually happen uh but you're not going to want to sit here and fish so basically what you're going to do is once you catch a fish or two or three or four depending on how many setups you have you're just going to want to skip ahead in time so you see here, I've only gotten that one bite so far. And the way I do it, like I recast, whatever, not a big deal. You just recast, wait for a fish. And now literally I'm very impatient, especially in this spot. What I do is if, if I don't get a bite here in a minute, I just skip ahead an hour. Well, technically it's an hour and a half, but you basically just skip ahead a little bit. And that's all you got to do. So you see, we almost... Ooh gonna get one come on do it on the shitty rod so i can show you guys how long this takes come on once the line starts moving guys that's when you know There we go. So we got him on this uh, this worst rod. Now this rod is still good, guys. I know I called it a shitty rod, but compared to my other rods, it's not very good. You guys are going to see here how long it takes. Um, kind of see how long it takes to bring in one of these sturgeon with this uh, setup I gave you. And then I'll show you guys the comparison with the, the end game setup. And then remember, you guys are going to be upgrading as you go through this. All right. Let's go ahead, grab this sturgeon. It's gonna take a little bit, because again, we're we're under we're under leveled here, right? So we're gonna need to um We're gonna need to fight for these fish, but you guys are gonna be very, very happy with the results here. 
it's amazing how much money you get and XP you get from this, especially with the barbless hooks on. And when you're under a level, you guys are you guys are gonna be just in shock how much money you make here. We are getting another bite. And since I have this underpowered rod, what I'm gonna do here, guys, is I'm quickly gonna go to my um my stronger rod. I'm gonna set the hook. And I'm gonna go back to my underpowered rod because I don't want it to break. And now we're gonna keep fighting the the, the, the sturgeon on this rod. Because that one can sit there and handle it without... And we can just leave that one there. Now, sometimes what will happen, guys, is your stuff will break. But I believe if you have the cap boxer, you can do this. If you have the bottom rods, it's not going to work. Or the, the blue ones, it's not going to work. But if you have this cap boxer, it is going to work. You can see here, there's a sturgeon, 1700 bucks, Not bad. And now we can just go to uh, the one that we already hooked. And we'll go bring this bad boy in here. And you can see that was a 16.82 kilogram white sturgeon. So they're good size here, guys. Very good size here. And see, the, this setup I have right here is very balanced. So all of the bars are pretty equal to each other, which makes things a lot easier. We'll grab him. There we go. Boom. 1500 bucks. Perfect. And now, this is what I was talking about earlier, guys. Is I haven't gotten bites on these yet. Just reel them in. And you're going to want to do this every single time. Because this is going to be the fastest way for you guys to make money, alright? So just reel in both your extra rods here. Let's get them back in. Now I'm going to show you guys the trick. All you do... So when you fast forward, you can see it's 2100 hours. It goes to the next hour. So you just hit this once. You click the arrow once, fast forward time, and then throw your line back in the water. Regardless of how many fish you caught in that hour, don't bother waiting. It's not worth it. So just throw this back in. Put it down. We'll grab number four here. Put it down. This is all you guys are going to want to do. This is the best way to make money. Uh, here you can also bass fish here as well i might make a video for that but this is this is the way i found that was by far the quickest way to make money and level up so as you can see we got a fish on already we're gonna go ahead and hook that bad boy and then drop it down and we're gonna get this other one out there and honestly guys you could even do you could even do five if you have the four rod holder that's how crazy this is you can even do more oh uh, fish escaped though see so it does happen like you will lose some fish doing this way but it is um it's not a bad way to keep just making money guys just keep going after these fish as much as, as much as possible you will get bites you're gonna make tons of money here five might be a little bit too much especially when you guys have the um the lighter rods it's gonna be pretty tough here i'll go ahead and leave the smaller rod out just to see if it breaks for you guys oh what happened to my line what the fuck is that glitch oh there we go but we'll see if he breaks off of that one i doubt he will and as you guys can see it gets a little bit nutty here it's kind of actually hard to keep track of but once you get in a groove it's actually not too bad. So the fish did escape because of the low line tension. So it is going to be a little bit tough for you guys to do this. I didn't have this much happen when I was doing it. But either way, you guys are still going to be able to farm tons of fish here. It just depends on how many rods you have and how long it takes for you to get them in. But you can always set the hook, drop it, and then if they escape, they escape. If not, whatever. It's not a big deal. It's not like the fish are going to get scared and run away. Because when you sim forward that hour and a half, that that is when you guys will just... The fish will respawn and you'll just get them and you just keep doing that you don't get a bite for a few minutes in real life just fast forward again and there's no way you guys aren't gonna make money here per day so Let's see if we get another one on here
But yeah, this is your setup, guys, this cat boxer. It will be good enough to catch these fish, as you can see. So get one or two of these, or three of these, depending on how many you can grab. Okay, I don't know. There wasn't even a fish on there. That wasn't even beeping. That was barely even beeping, man. But either way, this is what you're going to want to do, guys. Go through here. Keep farming them. Fill up your keep net. Go to the next night at 9 o'clock. And because it's nighttime, you can just keep simming forward. You never have to wait to sim. And it's going to be the quickest way for you guys to make money. Make sure you use the spawn sack because it's cheaper than cut bait. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's all you're going to want to do here. And you guys will catch tons of surgeon. This is how I got from basically 40 to 50. And I made it like two million dollars doing it guys so if you got the money to come here you're the high enough level you're going to be able to do this just remember this is a very end game thing if you're new to this game don't try and just come here you guys are going to need to be prepared before coming here i warn you now you're going to need to be prepared before you come here or else you're going to lose a lot of money hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the description, the links to my social media platforms and Discord where you can come hang out. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a video. And also comment down below and I'll try to respond as best as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.